Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a what's in my travel makeup bag video. It's been so long since I've done a video like this, but we are getting ready to go on a road trip to go and visit my aunt and uncle in Delaware. I'm very excited to see them. It's gonna be just like a four day trip, so not a super long trip. I'm not planning on wearing a ton of makeup on this trip, but I do just wanna pack some essentials and just things, maybe things that I'm testing out or things that I just wanna get some use out of on this trip. So I'm gonna do this kind of pack with me style. So we're gonna go through my collection together pick out products I'm gonna bring with me. I'll probably also show you guys what skincare I'm bringing as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and start packing. All right, so uh, this is the bag I'm gonna try to fit all my makeup in. This is, I've had this for a while. I bought it from Nicole Renee's like online store that she used to have that she, I think she closed it down, but that's where I got this. I don't know if you can buy it anymore. That's where I'm gonna try to fit my makeup. And then this is where I'm gonna put my brushes. It's a really good kind of like flat, pouch from Seabay. And then I think this bag is gonna be for like skincare just cause it's a little bit bigger and for some reason this seems like a better skincare bag. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna try to pack pretty minimally in terms of makeup. I'm gonna start in this drawer with kind of like my everyday stuff. Uh, mascara, I'm just gonna bring my Milk Makeup Rise Mascara. I took off the little rubbery thing that it had because I saw Lauren May Beauty do that in her, one of her videos. And then I, I don't know, I just, before I knew it, I was ripping mine off too. So um, yeah, it's a lot smaller than it was before, which makes it even more travel friendly. Um, I'm gonna bring my eyelid primer. For brows, I'm gonna bring my Urban Decay Brow Blade because I feel like it just takes up less space than the ABH Dip Brow. Um, I'll also bring my Pacifica Clear Brow Gel. I think I also wanna bring my new Ulta Bouncy Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Italian Ice. I'm thinking this will make a really pretty one and done shadow. And then for eyeliner, I'll go ahead and bring my Project Pan Eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner black retractable liner. All right, for now, I think that's gonna be it for this drawer. Let's take a look at my base drawer now. So I'm thinking I'm really tempted to bring my new Kosas one because it is, I'm just loving it so much. It's beautiful, but the fact that it's glass and kind of heavy makes it not quite as travel friendly as like a squeeze tube mascara. So honestly, I think I'm just gonna bring my Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac foundation. Since it's in a squeeze tube, I feel like it Again, takes up less space, it's lighter weight, so it's just a little bit easier to travel with. And this is just a good, like, reliable, light to medium coverage foundation. For concealer, I actually think I'm going to take, this is my current makeup basket, and I am gonna pull a couple things from here. The concealer I'm gonna bring is my Urban Decay Stay Naked, because this is a mini, so it just takes up less space, and we're just trying to save space where we can here. I think that's it for base products. I'm not gonna bother bringing a primer. Tempted to bring a setting spray, but I kinda wanna bring one of my new ones. I have this, this is the one that I'm really tempted to bring, the Makeup Revolution Fix and Glow. I love this so far. I've only used it twice, so I don't wanna like speak too soon, but uh, really enjoying this so far. But it takes up a lot of space and I don't want it to potentially leak, so I might refrain from bringing that but yeah honestly my most travel friendly setting spray would be this mini urban decay all-nighter but i don't really feel like i need to bring like a long wearing setting spray yeah i think i'm just gonna skip setting spray then i have my cream cheek products this drawer is looking a little sad a lot of my cream cheek products are like in other places but i really want to bring my new milani cream blush this is in the shade uh nude kiss that's what that looks like such a pretty kind of everyday color kind of like a rosy nude blush, I would describe it. And this is nice because I can easily just apply it with my fingers, so that's like one less brush I need to take with me. So yeah, I'm gonna take this one. I decided. Not gonna bring a cream bronzer. I think I will, however, bring a powder bronzer. Let me bring my Jordana powder bronzer in Sunkiss. This is an old one. This is one I've had for a while. Um, it's one of my smaller ones, both of these two are my like smallest powder bronzers. So yeah, let's bring that one. Let's give this one some love. Yeah, I'm not gonna bring a powder blush. I'm just gonna stick to that one Milani one. And then for highlighter, I think I will just bring my Becca liquid highlighter in Champagne Pop because this is in my Project Pan and it's nice, small, easy to travel with and that way I can get some good use out of that. For powder, I'm just gonna bring my CoverGirl Clean Fresh because this one works great for both the under eyes and all over the face. And this is just my favorite right now. It's blurring, it's lightweight, 
it's smooth, it's soft, it's like, it's just a beautiful powder. So that's the one I'm gonna bring. I just feel like I can rely on this one to work well for me. I would bring like my Mini Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, but this one makes my under eye concealer like 10 shades darker. So it doesn't work well on the under eyes. I'm not gonna bring that. So I think that is gonna do it for this drawer. All right, let's talk eyeshadows now. So you saw I am bringing that mini um, Ulta cream shadow, but I think I'm also just gonna bring my ABH Morvina palette. This is my like, low-key pan that palette this year and one of these shadows is currently in my um pan those eyeshadows volatile uh peep the new pan i just hit the other day so exciting um so i now have five pans in here and i'm trying to hit pan on all of these shades by the end of the year um, with the exception of maybe drama so yeah i'm, I'm just gonna bring that because this has basically all the everyday colors i need both mattes and shimmers and then um, if I want to be like super simple, I can just use the Ulta one on its own. I think that's going to be it for eyeshadows. I don't want to, like I said, I want to try to fit everything in this one pretty small bag. So I'm not going to go too crazy. I do want to pull, I think I'm going to bring my BK Beauty lipstick in Kindness that's currently in my makeup basket. I love this shade. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. You saw in my intro of this video, that's what I was wearing. Beautiful peachy nude. I just, I love it so much. It goes with so many looks. So that'll probably be the main lipstick I bring. And then I will also go ahead and bring my Milani gloss in Soft Rose. This I am trying to use up. It is almost gone. And I will go ahead and bring one lip liner. I think I'm gonna bring my Koki lip liner in Nude. This is my current go-to. Such a good lip liner, the perfect kind of like light brown nude that's like kind of cooler toned. I really like it. And I already brought a black liner. Do I need any others? I mean, eyeliner doesn't take up much space. I may also go ahead and bring my brown pencil liner. Ooh, or should I bring my... Actually, I'm gonna bring this. This is the Flower Beauty. Okay, my camera doesn't want to focus on this, but this is the Flower Beauty winged liner in the shade Dark and Stormy. It's like a really dark brown. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring that in case I want to wear like something a little bit softer than a black. Ooh, you know what else I'm gonna bring? I am gonna bring one other lip color. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Cheery. This is such a beautiful springy color. I haven't really gotten the chance to wear this much yet just because we're kind of just now getting into spring and this is a very like corally soft orange color and we'll see if I wear this, but I'm just gonna bring it just in case. Actually, I did a good job packing light. Um, I'm gonna resist the temptation to cram more stuff in here because that's really all I need. I do, however, need to pick some brushes. Okay, so first I am gonna bring a sponge. I do have this little beauty blender travel case. It's got little holes in it to keep it ventilated. So these are the sponges that I'm currently using. These are from the little Base Blue Cosmetics Snowflake Sponge Kit. So hopefully this will fit in here. I am going to clean that before I officially pack it, but yeah, that fits in there nicely. So that'll be coming with me. And then as far as brushes go. I'm going to try to bring as many like multitasking brushes as I can. For foundation and concealer, I'm not going to bring a brush because I'm going to use a sponge. For powder and also like bronzer, I think I'm just going to bring one brush. I'm going to bring this BK Beauty 103. This is a good kind of multitasking face brush. It kind of works for everything. And then I don't need to worry about a highlighter brush because I'm bringing just a cream highlighter so I can use my fingers for that. I am going to bring a smaller powder brush to use for my under eye powder because I do need a separate one for that. This is the e.l.f. highlighting brush. Works really well for the under eyes. And then is that everything in terms of face brushes? Wow, I am actually surprising myself with how minimal I am being right now. Um, you know, maybe I will bring a separate brush, blush brush just so I don't have to mix like blush into my powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my Eco Tools Precision Blush Brush since I do have room for that. Okay, so then as far as eye brushes, um, I'm again gonna keep this really simple. The Norvina palette has a brush in it, so I can use that. And then I'm basically just gonna bring a crease brush, the BK Beauty 201's a nice fluffy crease brush, and a shader brush. And I'm gonna bring the BK 203 it's a nice kind of like somewhat fluffier shader brush so you can just to pack shadows on and also to kind of blend them out especially if you're doing like a one shadow look i'll go ahead and bring like a slightly smaller crease brush the bk202 it's a little bit more like pointed and then i'll bring this kind of smaller detail brush this is the eco tools shader brush that's like a million years old but this i can use for the inner corner for like lower liner just there's a lot of things i can use that for 
Um, and then I'm also gonna bring a spoolie. This is just a random one. This I can just use to brush through my brows. And then if I make any mistakes with my mascara, I can use this to flake it off. So I think that's all I'm gonna need for, oh, let me bring an angled liner brush too. Cause I, I use this kind of thing every day. This is the BK Beauty 208. Nice, very, very precise angled brush. I'm also gonna bring a little cloth. This is like a knockoff makeup eraser. This is just really nice to be able to wipe off my brushes in between uses or to just, I don't know, it's just handy to have. So I'm gonna bring that. All right, so that takes care of both of those. We have two very curious kitties here. And I also went ahead and packed all of my like skincare, body care, and hair care into this bag. Yeah, I, I'm pretty proud of how I managed to fit everything in here. So let's take a look at what is in here. So in here, I have my body lotion. This is the Pacifica Strawberry Peach Body Lotion. I really like this. It's the smallest bottle of body lotion that I have. Um, it is very strongly scented, like fruity, strawberry, peachy. So um, yeah, but... I do really like that. I'm also bringing a body sunscreen. This is the Polish Choice Extra Care Non-Greasy Sunscreen with SPF 50. Not really sure how much like outdoor activity we're gonna be doing, but figured that would be nice to have. Um, my cleansing balm, I don't have any like mini cleansing balms, but this one doesn't take up a ton of space. It's the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I don't actually love this, but it does get the job done. As far as fragrance, I'm just bringing some of these little um, perfume towelettes because they take up virtually no space and I don't have to worry about like a glass bottle breaking. Three of them are Pillow Talk Poet from Pinrose, which is one of my all-time favorites, and then one Mystical Misfit. So that'll be like one for each day and that way I can go ahead and use those up. My uh, Tretinoin Cream. This I haven't even opened yet, but I decided I want to open it and start using it again. I've already used up one of these. It's the Cocoa Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. I feel like my skin could just really use a nice like barrier friendly serum like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it in the box to kind of protect it on the way there since it is a glass bottle. The cleanser I'm bringing is this mini Paula's Choice Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. It's a nice like very gentle cream cleanser. Moisturizer, I know I should probably decant this into a little like mini travel container, but I can't find any like empty ones right now. So I'm just gonna bring this. It doesn't, it's not very heavy and there's really not much left in here. This is the Aero Organics Complete Plus Moisturizer. It's the moisturizer I've been using recently. Yeah, that's all that's left. So I may actually like finish it on this trip, but I think there should be enough in there for the trip. And then I'm also bringing, I know this is like almost empty, but I think there's a good handful of uses left in here. This is the Polish Choice Hydrating Treatment Mask. Um, this is definitely necessary for my dry skin. I like to do the sandwich method with my tretinoin. So I'll put on a lightweight moisturizer underneath, then the tretinoin, then seal it all in with a nice like thick, moisturizer, so that's what I've been using for that. The lip balm I'm bringing is the Ilia Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. Nice small tube so it doesn't take up much space. Uh, same with the eye cream. This is just a nice little tube, the Coco Kind Revitalizing Eye Cream. That's actually almost gone as well, but uh, at least it means it weighs less <laughs> than it otherwise would. Um, as far as hair products, I am just bringing the little minis that I have. This is a conditioner from Zion Health ancient minerals conditioner and this i think we got from like a hotel or something a long time ago but this is the suave almond and shea butter moisturizing shampoo not cruelty free but just want to use what i have then this little leave-in conditioner from eva nyc the main magic 10 in 1 primer mini um i'm not planning on like styling my hair while i'm there but that'll just be nice to put in my hair after i wash it to give it a little extra Moisture. The face sunscreen I'm bringing is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. Um, bringing this for a couple reasons. One, because it's a nice high SPF, and two, because it's very hydrating. And in case my skin ends up like getting irritated or dry for whatever reason, this is one I can rely on to not like dry out or irritate my skin. It's very gentle and just like very nourishing. I'm bringing this little mini deodorant that I have from Zion Health. It's their clay dry deodorant in the sweet amber scent. I really do like this deodorant. Normally I use certain dry, but I just happen to have this travel size of this. So I figured that would be good to bring. And then I also apparently have this random mouthwash mini that I probably got from the dentist. So I'm gonna bring that as well. Obviously also need to pack like toothpaste and toothbrush, but I'm gonna pack those the morning of. So that's all the skincare I'm bringing. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, probably forgetting something, but by the time you're watching this, it'll be too late for you to tell me in the comments because 
we're already probably either back from the trip or well into the trip, so. Okay, so I think that is going to do it for this video. I think that's everything I need to pack. I hope I didn't forget anything important, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. I upload three to four videos every week and I'd love to see you again soon. Hopefully I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.